And now, Mr. Frank Sinatra. My story is much too sad. Sinatra Raw is a play that evokes what it might have been like to have spent a moment in the company of Frank Sinatra. Uh, we go behind the blue eyes of the icon as we find him at a crossroads in his life, um, on stage with nothing more than a bottle of Jack Daniels, memories and regret. It's a very potent cocktail. I've got you under my skin. Yes, the play traces the journey from the gritty streets of Hoboken all the way through to the dizzying heights of international fame. They call me lucky. Well, luck. Luck will take you so far. After that, you gotta have the talent. And it explores what it means to live inside a gilded fishbowl. You gotta know how to use it. You gotta fight. You gotta fight. And it presents the peaks and the valleys of Sinatra's life. You know how the scales of fortune can tip unpredictably, a common thread that weaves through the fabric of every life. Uh, yet at its core, it's a story of an every man. That's life, though that's what all the people say. I'm a riding high in April, shot down in May. The narrative also dives deep into his tumultuous white-hot love affair with Ava Gardner, who was the reigning siren of Hollywood. Ava Gardner, the chick from Grabtown, North Carolina, who walked off the back of the road and into Hollywood and blew the bulbs right out of the spotlight. His influence had the power to both ignite and extinguish him. When I first saw her, oh my God, I was in all the way, baby. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you all the way. The script also delves into the controversy that trailed Sinatra, the allegations flung at him by the press. You know what it's like to have a camera in your goddamn face? Every goddamn moment of every goddamn day, wherever you go, people watching, people listening, people making shit up. But through the storms and the scandals, Sinatra navigated life's turbulent waters in a way that was uniquely his own. The record shows I took the blows and did it my way. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He recreated Frank Sinatra like no one I've ever seen before. One of the movements that he did and his facial expressions, you could really see Frank Sinatra. Yeah, I thought he did a great job.